So we're at Hadassah Hospital and we're standing here in this gorgeous atrium, which is part of the entryway to this amazing new renovated hospital. Um, they spent years renovating it and it came out magnificently. And we're going to head over here and go down to see the surgical unit, which is an underground surgical unit. It's about four levels below ground. And we're going to meet with one of the surgeons who was part of the planning of it. So he's going to give us a tour. We're going to get to see it's, it's top of the line. It's at the forefront of technology. And we're really excited that it's here in Israel because, you know, it's super safe and um, it's great for us to have something like this to, to know that we can be safe at all times. And as we're going to pass through here, you're going to see all these walls with people's names, donating. There's a synagogue over here. Uh, Holocaust Memorial here and so they did a really beautiful job and I'm excited to go down there and see because I've heard a lot about this and it's really going to be interesting to check it out. So I'm going to put these scrubs on. We're going to go in to see uh, one of the operating rooms and like we said, these are all underground, so we're really, really protected down here in case something happens, but I'm getting to my nice white scrubs. <laughs> okay. okay, so now we enter the uh, operating theater itself. Mm -hmm. The main uh, corridor. Okay. Wow. So can you just tell me something? I'm looking at all these doors before I go in. Are these typical of operating rooms or are these like super secure? It's, no. It's yeah, okay. The, the room is very dirty now because they just uh, exit with uh, a patient. So it's dirty, but it was an active room one minute uh, ago. So the walls are made of metal uh -huh. and this is one of the options for operating room. This is the most advanced and clean this so, is a large room for, for an operating room, typically? Yes, it's, it's huge. Okay. And you, you can put also photos inside the uh, uh, Yeah, it's wall. beautiful. It's really a nice, and, pleasant uh, room. <laughs> okay, what else do we have here? We have the pedants. Uh, the pedants are uh, all the booms that are hanging from the ceiling. This pedant, for instance, if you can join me, is the anesthesiology pedant. It provides the anesthesia machine with the gas and electricity and communication. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's connected to the anesthesia machine at all times. Uh, this uh, is there is another boom, which is the anesthesiology assistant uh, boom. Wow. Uh, and it also provides uh, electricity and gas and communication and also a place to hang the infusion bags and the uh, syringe pumps. Wow, thank you. Yeah. How long has this room been in operation? Like how many years? This is very... One year. One was, year, yeah. Was, I remember uh, you were doing renovation. February 2016, it was opened. And how many rooms are there of similar... There are 13, 13 rooms in this complex. And uh, there is an area for seven additional rooms, which is closed in a cast wall. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So and this is the oldest Da Vinci, the f actually the first robot in Israel, the Da Vinci S, uh, that was brought here in 2008. And it's still active. And, and what, what is the Da Vinci robot? Explain it to me. The Da Vinci robot is actually uh, computer-assisted surgery. It uh, provides the surgeon sitting on the console with a three-dimensional uh, ah. view and 12-time magnification, uh, which cannot be obtained in any other way. The surgeon looks here, and uh, he has a three-dimensional view. Oh. It's not like this flat screen, which is two-dimensional. Mm -hmm. And the fingers of the surgeons oh. are, are, are here. Wow. And the, whatever he's, he's doing here happens oh inside my. the patient. <gasps> but it does not happen one-to-one, -one, but one-to-three. What the do you mean? The patient moves his, his arm, his hands, uh, three centimeters, and it moves only one centimeter inside the patient. This ah. is called motion scaling. Uh -huh. So, so let me just say, can accurate. I just say it again? Because I want to understand. If you move three centimeters here, it's one centimeter in Inside the, in the, the patient, body. Yes. Okay. So it's like the, the small screw, small bolt of the microscope. Mm -hmm. So you can do large movements and get very little change. Wow. And be very more accurate wow. than a, in any other 
Yes, well, it's not new. It's well, uh, to me it is, because yeah. I never heard of that. So, so <laughs> you know, to me it is. It's very important for but, my, for my yeah. uh, uh, speciality, because radical prostatectomy for prostate cancer is usually done with a robot. Uh -huh. And now, is this a new, this is a newer version of the same no, thing? No, no, it's, oh. this, these are the arms that are uh, Oh, the body. oh, I see. Whatever this is part of this. Here happens here. Oh, I see. Inside okay. the body. Wow, okay. Ooh. So this room typically houses the robot. Let's move and see other okay, rooms. Okay, great. Look, you know, you see those things on, those kind of robots and all this on TV and shows, but if you never saw that, like, it, the fact that you just said that to me, how that works is incredible to me, you know? <laughs>